Hello and welcome back. It's way in week and I gained this week. About two pounds. That baby is okay. He just got in trouble for getting in the litter box. That's why he's very sad. He's climbing on everything. Like, I'm going crazy. I don't know. Do you have, if you have children, do you have a climber? What do you do? Like, I can't go pee with him, him climbing all of a sudden. If he's crying at the gate, I know he's safe. He's trying to crawl underneath the gate. Oh my goodness, what heathen spawn did I procreate? So, I had a feeling this past week that it was going to be a bad week. Because we were going to have dinner Saturday and I was like, you know what, I've been off plan a couple times this week. I don't care, I want Mexican, real Mexican. I don't want to fake any of this, like make fajitas with on plan wrap. No, I wanted enchilada, I wanted a chimichanga and I wanted some queso with their <laughs> chips. Don't care. And I got fried ice cream. Um, so, you know, last week I mentioned that I had started on Saturday, like basically right after my period started or before my period was about to start, just, just craving cheese, fats, cheese, fats, cheese, fats. And, um, by the end of the weekend, I was struggling super hardcore with it and, uh, I even had two crazy, no, two, three, four crazy off-plan meals <sighs> don't care uh so that's why i'm not shocked that my scale is up um oh, i have to i'm still craving those fats and eggs like i don't want oatmeal i want eggs i want fat what's wrong with me let me check on that baby so it's been uh one of those weeks uh, today is my first day back on plan. I have not counted weight watcher points yet. And I don't know if I want to because I probably had a half a tablespoon of butter this morning. Half a tablespoon of ghee. ghee eggs with egg whites. Uh, butter. No, no. That was coconut spray, okra, and bacon, which I think is two points each. Don't know if I want to count that. Then I, for lunch, I had, from Trim Healthy Table, the hangry meal for one, uh, fettuccine alfredo, fake thing, with uh, some mushrooms. And some Kiona blend. I got all these. Because, um, see, this weekend, I did not have a THM-friendly meal. I had some leftover dream fields and I had some leftover elbow wheat noodles. So I mixed them up and I ate like most of it. I tried to give it to the babies but the babies did not want to eat it. Plus had a uh, sprouted bread with some cheese, cheese sandwich. Don't know if, how much butter was in it but I put butter on my noodles because I just wanted butter noodles but I really should have put parmesan on these butter noodles. And uh, after that all of a sudden I start getting crazy, mad, dizzy, and lightheaded. I checked my blood sugar, and my blood sugar was 110, 115. Oh, 119. It was completely on the chart. I Googled normal. But I didn't feel no normal. I'm pretty sure I did not consume an sweet, which will cause those same effects on me. So I really don't know. This morning, I checked it two, two -ish hours after my S meal, and it was 79. My mom's nurse, and she said that was a little low. So I made sure today for lunch I make the a carb um, so I can check again in two hours. So I gained about two pounds. I've had to start this video three times so I may repeat stuff or not even mention stuff. I forgot. The baby is still trying to climb under the gate. He is crazy. He's going to be evil Knievel one day. If you have children and you have climbers, you probably know my life. It's crazy bad right now. My preschooler started uh, preschool, but I can't even have relief in the mornings because this one is climbing the walls if you can. Because I was like, oh man, I'll get so much cleaning. I'm going to ever get everything organized and I'm going to exercise. I'm going to do all the things between nursing, him napping on me because he can't do that, and him climbing stuff. It's not happening. And today's a snow day. I like the extra sleep, but man, there is water. From the snow that melted on the floor in the kitchen from I was trying to give something for my toddler to do. There's still a dinosaur in there in the melting snow. In the towel. With the towel. Uh, 
So, this week I'm probably going to sign up for uh, that wellness channel challenge I mentioned. Uh, probably going to weigh in on Wednesday for that. Then, um, because that's the rules of the game there. And maybe that's another reason why I stayed off, pl off plan for a while. Because I was like, well then, you know, I'll be up and then I'll get on plan magically and not go down. Because I know I'm not going to lose a lot. Um... And maybe I need to balance more of my THM meals. I probably did more balancing that were THM close to friendly with, you know, heavy, light, and whatnot. As is versus, you know, now. You know, pre-THM, I was probably doing closer to THM than, like, with the balancing act than I am now. I do a lot of heavy S's. And maybe that's my problem. Uh, maybe it's trying to fit grains in meals. I don't like fruits, so I'm stuck with rice. Maybe I just need to get a whole bag of rice and pre-portion it and just have some rice ready for a meal. But I just struggle with the idea of <laughs> making S meals half the time. Not S meals, I mean emails. I like the idea of emails, but to feel satisfied with only three fourths of a cup of beans or something... That's my struggle, or rice, or whatnot. Uh, I only really like bananas sometimes, Clem uh, clementines, and I got a whole bag and I didn't even eat it. Like, I think I've ate two, and the babies ate one. Uh, same thing, we got a lot of bananas that week, ate three of them, it seems. Not even the baby ate them. I don't even know what happened. I think it's just that, that preschooler don't going to school thrown us all off. So I'm really considering a. THM fuel cycle because maybe then I'll learn how to balance and juggle better um cause I probably did better deep S meals you know balancing before I went hog wild with THM than I do now I don't know I'm still considering that cause I'm afraid I'm gonna feel like I'm starving to death and then I'd have to actually make trimmies which I'm not a fan yet I haven't gotten back into exercising, I'm just being lazy. And again, with the transition, the preschooler going to school, we're transitioning all our sleep schedules, and it's hard. I'm tired. I just want to like drink all the coffee and go sleep in a corner. Plus, I felt like I was getting sick this weekend. Like I'm in the middle of our day, I'm like, I hope I'm not getting strep. But then I like took some baobab powder, and boom, gone. Uh. So, next week, hopefully a loss. Back to 242-ish. Uh, I don't have anything exciting to say. I mean, you know, if you listen to THM Potties, she even mentioned, you know, if your family's not on uh, THM for real, like, just make yourself a THM meal. And give them the non-THM meals. And I'm really considering that. But then again, do I want to eat this random TH meal, meal all week long and usually I kind of don't eat leftovers unless they've been frozen after the three day mark. So I don't know. I'm still deciding. But uh, the shirt I'm wearing I have not really worn. I've tried on it. It could not fit really very well a few months ago. I put it on today and other than the front portion because my belly is a lot more distended than it used to be pre-kids. Um... But, like, if we look just from front ways, not from the side with my belly, it's like, whoa, it fits. Um, maybe that's why everything seems super tight on me because it's my belly's poking out more than it used to without kids. And I can't really compare kid one, kid the two, or pregnancy one, pregnancy three because of the fact that I knew I was fat. I knew I was, like, 285 or more. I mean, and I was grieving the loss of my child. Don't care. But, uh... Mom, oh, how you... Mm. Mom. Had to save the toddler from his life. So this weekend is the baby's z z z z birthday parties. Party. So it's... If I get a day to do it. Cleaning everywhere. Uh, but yeah, this is the shirt. 
it's like, shoop, I got hips of, uh, hips of, I think he pooped. Hips of doom. But, ha! see what I say? Belly poking out. Which, for this shirt, because it's actually tight, I don't wear tight shirts, it's kind of noticeable because it pooches right here. Not that you can see because of the baby. Um, but I'm almost willing to actually wear this in public now. I wouldn't have done that a month ago or two ago because I've tried it on a few times and it was like, eh. But, uh, see, I told you that baby's climbing. He's climbing everything, like toilet seat. But, uh, hopefully this week will be a better week. Eventually, we're going to get in a routine so I can start exercising and getting time to clean and people won't be behind me making messes, baby. He's trying to mess everything up. I gotta clean your food. But, uh, yeah, so last week the, uh, the preschooler had three days of school. This week, unless tomorrow's a snow day too, will be four days. Next week will be a full week. Hopefully, I need to call Wick. Um, then uh, I think it's spring break after that. <laughs> we slept in today. Whoa. He's not a morning person. The baby isn't even America before this baby destroys the world. Viva Vova! I smell human being. Ah, I'm going to eat you. <laughs> I'm a ring. Oh, I, I, I'm a ring tank. Oh, I, I. But if you've ever done a THM fuel cycle, give me some uh, tips in the links. I keep looking to see if there's a gentle breastfeeding mama's uh, fuel cycle, like deep as half the day, a little, little, little bit of carbs at the end of the meal on like one day. I don't know. Like someone should have been that. Just enough carbs to keep your breast milk going. That's what I need. Look, he's gonna eat Jane. Ah. <laughs> if you have your favorite deep, uh, fuel cycle friendly recipes, put them in the links below. Did you try a new recipe this week? We're trying like two new ones. Now I'm just not happy. The babies aren't either because they won't eat it too. Bye bye. Bye bye.